We are going to look at the theremin kits for the Build Your Own Theremin program. After you introduce the theremin and the parts that make it work, you give these kits to the students and their first task is to organize all the parts into what they know and what they don't know. If they know what it does, they put it in one pile. If they don't know what it does or what it is, they put it in another pile. But let's just talk through what the objects actually are. So first, we have our source of power. Very important. We have an on and off switch. This is really a place where you can break the circuit or reconnect it. These two things are called integrated circuits because they have these chips. This one controls the pitch. This one controls the volume. This is your speaker. These are resistors and really resistors are the most important thing that you'll talk about in this program. Then of course we have a bunch of connector wires, alligator clips. So these are the blocks in the kit. Once you talk through the blocks with the students, then you ask them to connect all the letters together. So let's do that. Then you turn it on and nothing happens. So you troubleshoot. Huzzah! Pretty nice sound, I guess. In a quiet room, you can hear it fine. In a classroom, it's pretty hard to hear. So until we make the amplifier better, we have to use computer speakers. What you do is you take the W and P wire and connect it to these instead. The problem with this, of course, is that you need to bring power to every place and it's a bit cumbersome. So we're working on it, but let's hook this up. So you just take the alligator clips off here connect them here. It doesn't really matter which is which, the speaker will work either way. Of course, volume control is an issue, so say that you'll take their speaker away if they don't keep it turned down. From this point on, the thrust of their experiment is to replace this GH resistor with other kinds of resistors. First, uh, the triple resistor block, which has three different resistors on it, which will give you three different pitches. They can hook up a potentiometer to change the pitch gliding around. You'll notice there's three places to plug into on the potentiometer. You should plug into the middle one and then one of the ones on the side. Then we have the photo cell, which changes resistance based on how much light there is on it. If you have time, add another flashlight and another photo cell. Their last resistor experiment will be Play-Doh. So that is a look at some fun you can have with theremin kits. I think this is one of our best programs at the moment because the activity takes up most of the time. It's a very short explanation at the top and then the students are experimenting more or less the whole class. So try these first, make sure you know how to troubleshoot and have fun.